evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with him. By the grace of God, I have seen many people touched by God in this ministry and I encourage you, my dear friend, to connect in faith. Believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you my dear friend, welcome to yet another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today. I greet you in the name of Jesus. God is wonderful, God is good and God wants to bless you my dear friend. Always believe and know that God wants to bless you. My dear friend, today is Monday and on Monday we usually share the Monday prophetic word. And I've been seeking God to understand and know what God is saying to you in this season. And this is what the Lord said to me. As I was seeking God, He spoke and this is the message that He gave me to share. In humility, find exaltation. Remain humble and you will be exalted. This that I've already given you is just the start of what I can do. And more is still to come. But humility is the key to enter in. And humility is the protection mechanism to protect you from all the traps that the devil has set up. Behold, as you walk in humility, it will be a stepping stone to greater glories. In this season, in humility, you will find peace, you will find exaltation, you will find protection, you will find freedom from all the traps that the enemy sets up for you to prove yourself. In saying this, my dear friend, the Lord led me to a few scriptures and I'm just going to read them to you. The first one is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 23, verse 12. In the King James Version, it says, And whoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, but he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. The Bible also says in the book of James chapter 4, verse 6, in the ISV Version, it says, But he gives all the more grace. And so he says, God opposes the arrogant, but gives grace to the humble. The Bible also says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 5 in the ISV version, it says, In a similar way, you young people must submit to the elders. All of you must clothe yourselves with humility for the sake of each other, because God opposes the arrogant but gives grace to the humble. The last but not the least scripture is also from the book of 1 Peter and it's chapter 5 verse 6 in the ISV version. It says, Therefore humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time, He might exalt you. In saying that, my dear friend, take your cell phone, your device, just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. When the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down. Even as the blessings of God come down in your life, your life will be changed for the better. In saying that, let's begin to praise Him. Father, You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the all-consuming fire. You are my God, You are my Lord. You're my dear friend's God, you're my dear friend's Lord. Father, we just worship you. We just praise you. We just lift you up. We just praise you, Lord, because you are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all glory. You deserve the glory, Lord. And even right now in this studio, be lifted up. And in the place where my dear friend is watching, be lifted up. Lord, we glorify your name. We magnify your name. Thank you for this word that you've given us. Thank you that promotion is coming in my dear friend's life. And this is why you've given us this word. It is the key for this season. Humility is the key for this season. Lord, I pray even as my dear friend walks in humility, receive all the glory for all the good things that you'll do in my dear friend's life. Lord, I just praise you and I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for my dear friend. I thank you, Lord, for this time that we can pray. I thank you, Lord, for this time of prayer. I thank you, Lord, for your children all around the world. I thank you for the body of Christ. I thank you for all your servants around the world. Lord, we just take a moment to appreciate you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, God is good. God is wonderful. God is amazing. And God wants to bless you. My dear friend, take it for yourself. Say, God wants to bless me. And even as you say it, mean it. Say, God wants to bless me. And he will do so. Even as I walk in humility, I shall be exalted. Say that with me and mean it. Even as I walk in humility, I shall be exalted. Let us begin to think of humility as the key to exaltation. Because the Bible says, God opposes the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. In saying that, my dear friend, we're going to go into a time of prayer. I'm going to begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And I'm not going to be long. 
I'm going to pray for you. But even as I pray for you, I want to encourage you to do two things. The first thing that I want to encourage you to do is lift up your hands and welcome the Holy Spirit. We can't pray, we can't touch the hem of God's garment without the Holy Spirit. We need His help. So right now, my dear friend, just lift up your hands and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place where I'm watching. I welcome you. Come and touch me and change my life, Lord Holy Spirit. Come and change my life as I pray along with Evangelist Gabriel. Thank you for this prophetic word that you've given and thank you for the words that are still to come. Lord, I pray that you will take me up to a greater glory and help me, Lord Holy Spirit, not in my strength, but in your strength, to walk in humility wherever I go and to put away all prideful ways. Help me, Lord Holy Spirit, by your goodness, to walk in humility so that I can glorify King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the second thing that I encourage you to do before we go into a time of prayer is be in agreement. Comment in the comment section and agree with me. And even as you agree, God will bless you. God will take you up to a greater glory and your life will never be the same again. In saying that, my dear friend, let's begin to pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, I pray for your dear child watching this video. I pray for your son. I pray for your daughter. Wherever they're watching, distance is not a barrier. Wherever they're watching, we know that you are omnipotent, omnipresent, and your presence is reaching out and touching them right now, even as they're under the influence of my voice. Lord, bless and change the life of my dear friend, even as my dear friend chooses the way of humility. Lord, I pray that you will bless my dear friend, your dear son, your dear daughter, even as your dear son, your dear daughter walks in humility. Lord, we thank you for promotion that's coming, and we thank you that the key to this promotion has been revealed, and that is humility. Even in this season, that key has been revealed. Lord, I pray as my dear friend takes this key and uses it to unlock doors, I pray that doors of blessing will be opened and not doors of evil. Lord, I pray that you will take my dear friend, your dear child, up to a greater glory. Show my dear friend that you love my dear friend and that you want to bless and change the life of my dear friend. Lord, shine your goodness and your mercy over the life of my dear friend. Today, Lord, we make a decision to seek you first. We make a decision to seek you. We make a decision to choose you. We make a decision to follow your ways. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, amen, hallelujah. My dear friend, God is a good God. He is amazing and he wants to bless you. My dear friend, as you know, I put out a poll in terms of the fasting, when we're gonna fast and pray with regard to seeking God. We're gonna fast and we're gonna pray specifically to get to know God on a deeper level. And even on that day, I'm going to pray special prayers for you so that you will get closer to God. I'm going to check the poll that I put out and I'm going to announce the day that we're going to fast this evening. So stay tuned. I'm going to announce it this evening in Central African time. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.